Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are gonna take a look at the Deathless Guillotine that I acquired, got the final piece by doing the special guillotines challenge. And I'll be honest, she's slightly better than she would initially appear to be, but that possibly is due to the fact that, you know, she's a seven star and she has increased challenger rating in these fights. At the same time, it's still utterly, you know, unimpressive champion. This champion should not exist as something that comes into the game in 2023. She doesn't even have a single ability on level one, which kind of actually works in her favor. <laughs> I'm going to explain that later. Uh, but she does kind of hit a bit harder than I initially thought. So first, we're going to take a look at her against Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. And we're going to compare it against Ebony Maw. So both of these are Mystic 7 star rank one champions, no class advantage, no boosts. No relics, nothing like that. Afterwards, we're going to jazz her up a bit as well. And, uh, you know, she clearly has improved numbers. Uh, the degen obviously is a much more rare debuff. Therefore, it will not hinder, be hindered as much as bleed would be. And um, for a 7 star, you know, it's not necessarily majorly impressive stuff. But it's not awful by any means. And we can see that, you know, the crit rate seems to be quite decent and it is kind of RNG dependent as well. And that is going to be a huge thing for her if she can crit and if opponent doesn't have crit resistance, that's massively helpful. If she cannot crit, she will be significantly slower. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I have dropped two level twos and uh, she's not doing too bad. Uh, she's not doing too bad uh, taking down that Winter Soldier. Uh, it is quite a bit RNG dependent. I have gotten significantly varied fight times based on my crit RNG. I think the variance is like 30 plus percent, as in like it can go from like uh, 1 minute 20, 1 minute 30 to over 2 minutes if you do not just get the crits in. So that is kind of concerning. But here we can see that 2 level 2 is level 3 and the fight is over in 1 minute and 22 seconds. So that's not half bad. So then I tried bringing in Ebony Mo and you know I had a fairly standard Fine, Ebony Maw fight, I didn't play it perfect. I think one special attack I, or two specials, I end up with seven degens instead of the nine. But for the most part, you know, I played it about as well as I can. And, and the end result is two minutes. Now, Ebony Maw obviously is a defender primarily, and he's not the highest damage out champion, but he's a modern champion with actual abilities and actual use. So Guillotine can kind of outpace him, and not by a little. Obviously, I'm not saying Guillotine is better ch champion than Ebony Maw. Not even close. Ebony Maw is way better overall. But when it comes to raw damage output, Guillotine definitely has more uh, in vast majority of the cases. Now, this is going to be something interesting. So here I just up Guillotine with a 6-star um, Ghost Rider Relic that improves the degen. And I also gave her a full-on synergy team. Still no boosts, but uh, we do have a mutant synergy team to increase her crit rating and crit damage. As you can see, she is critting significantly more. And uh, now her damage output uh, is is very, very nice. There's like a level one. This was the, the Deadpool in like 18 seconds. But this is again with the relic and with a mutant team that does give significant amount of improved crit rating and crit damage rating and attack which is super important for guillotine because she doesn't really have any of that in her kit and her damage does directly depend on how frequently you can crit and even this fight now we have class advantage here but it's like 200k health right so 200k health is melting uh once she's synergized up uh but we're gonna do this seriously and see how she does without any synergies Obviously, we have to, right? But still, this is also like 24 seconds, not bad. So now it's just the guillotine. We're going to give her a relic. We're going to pretend that she's going to be like an actual champion that we use. Obviously, this Deadpool is the perfect matchup for guillotine because she can heal reverse. And uh, that is the main reason why she's going to get a fast time here. Because, well, number one, you can reduce the healing with the spare mastery, which I do have active here. And uh, then number two, once you get level two, you can flat out reverse the regeneration. Um, and, you know, that will show. So he activates his level one here. You go for the level two. You get 
the regen buff immediately i drop a relic and the deadpool expires in 25 seconds so that is still fast but that is kind of cheating because we had a fight where we could reverse the regeneration so this is going to be the real test right kind of sort of um let's take a look at how she does here and here we have the guillotine she will be doing better than i thought she would be even without the synergies i'm gonna admit to that at the same time again i don't like what kabam is doing with the desolate champions i'm worried for every single next one being released again i think that just not having any ability on a level one in 2023 for a champion to be released is just abysmal i think it's really really abysmal but 29 seconds that's not bad and here the final clips. The final clips are kind of interesting, so we can synergize her up. And uh, again, we can see that uh, I have it, it's very RNG dependent with her. I kind of like I have done this fight in under a minute with her as well. It's not going to be the case this time around, but we will have a very solid uh, CMM fight. One thing that I realized with Guillotine is that you want to be using your level ones over your level twos unless you need that region reversal. Because eating up the two uh, of your souls reduces your crit damage. So the more of your souls you have, the higher crit damage you have. But when you use level two, you eat up two of those. So uh, in a generic fight, as stupid as it sounds, and it is stupid and annoying, you want to be spamming your level one, which is a special attack that does absolutely nothing aside from, you know, Still does damage and it still can crit, so it can still inflict degen, but has like zero ability text. But here we can see that uh, the Winter Soldier is kind of going down. I'm not again. I didn't get the best crit RNG, but uh, it's not going too bad to be honest. Um, for such a bare bare bones champion. Now the finish here with the degen damage, and that's 109. So. You know, slightly fast. Again, I have gotten under one minute with my rank one seven star guillotine. And here with the class advantage, and I think I'm also getting a bit more decent RNG. I think the fastest I have done this fight is 39 seconds or 40 seconds at this point. Let's see how fast will this one be. Um, because you know, you seem to be getting quite a lot more crits here as well, for whatever reason. The challenger rating here is definitely helping the guillotine though. Uh, but we can see that you stack up some nice six, seven degens, you know, that damage adds up each of those degens like 790 in this fight. Typically it's like 600 or 580. And now again, we have seven degens and that health bar is leaking out relatively fast. At this point, we have 17 souls. And um, yeah, no, that, that's all she wrote for CMM. And that took us... 45 seconds. As I said, I think 39 is my best. So, um, the Deathless Guillotine, you know, is better than the OG Guillotine one. The annoying thing about her is that as a 7 star, any, like, only realistic bit of utility that you can have from her is the regen, which would be nice, but you're pretty much never going to get it because we can't awaken them. Which... It's super they should have just given us awakened versions of these honestly if they're gonna release them the way they are they should have been awakened this way and that's obviously a major point of frustration because it's going to be pretty much impossible to awaken these champions for a very very long time and you would never give them awakening gem anyways and then the next bit is yeah that i understand that they were not meant to be quote unquote good meta champions, and that's fine. This still feels incredibly lazy, which is my first reaction when I saw this. She's be slightly better than I thought, but that doesn't address the whole point of the champion itself just feeling kind of yeah, like a half assed job. Like it shouldn't exist in 2023. Do not have a champion with no abilities at all whatsoever in level one. And I don't know what else to say. I like Guillotine's animations. I have always liked Guillotine's animations. Will I use her for anything in-game at all whatsoever? Probably not. I doubt it. 
you know, I highly doubt it. So yeah, it, it's. I mean, she's there. It looks cool. Definitely does. Her animations feel nice. That's about the best thing that I can tell about her. And that, yeah, she does have slightly more damage than you'd necessarily think looking at the kit. Let me know what you guys think about the guillotine, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about.